Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've uh, just been going through some things. Tonner just got out of school. I'm getting used to, um, you know, um, Noah being a firefighter so he gets calls and um, with the soccer game, soccer practice, it's like too much. So now that he's out of school, I gotta like find some activities to do outside, you know, mom life. Um, but in this video, I am actually gonna be doing a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial. Um, if you could hear noise in the background, it's because Toner is playing some Nick Jr. games. Um, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be like a step-by-step -step explaining y'all like what to do with the concealer and bronzer and all those type of things. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start off with um, my rose primer water and y'all know that I've tried the coconut one and the cucumber one which I love them so I had to pick up the rose so let's just spray this not too close to the face but I usually like to spray a good bit because it just feels so refreshing but have how have y'all been? Um, I know it's summer, maybe some of y'all are going on vacation and you know, having some fun. Um, but we've just been busy and I've, I've been having some, some anxiety and all that crazy stuff just going in my head. So, uh, now, that we, now that we have the, um, the rose water on, I'm actually go I'm gonna go on and move on to the eyes and I'm gonna be priming and I picked up the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer because I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it and I'm sorry if you can hear the AC it is freaking hot so yeah that's how it looks and this is supposed to be a matte formula so I'm just gonna put that and prime my lids and I really I already went ahead and did my eyebrows this is kind of like a thick concealer, so I usually get oily on my eyelids as well. So you always want to prime. You can use a primer, an actual um, eyelid primer, or a concealer works just fine. So now that I've put that on, I'm going to set it using, <laughs> using the e.l.f. Matte from Matte. I've used this in the video before and this is the Jewel Pop. I'm just going to use this bone shade to set everything. Just taking that shade and especially if you're oily, you want to always set your lids. I've been seeing a lot of beauty gurus not setting and I feel like it's more for the drier type of skin but for me I know that I always have to set because I don't want to be putting my eyeshadow on a sticky base then my eyeshadow is not gonna blend well honestly there's no right way to do makeup I feel like the way like you just sh sh how do I explain like a lot of people do it differently just like if it works for you roll with it you know so I'm just gonna set where I put it and then um, I'm just gonna do a basic eye um, so I'm gonna go in with this light brown shade right here <clears throat> sorry about my nails I painted them but they chip so I'm just going to take a regular blending brush. You can always find brushes from Elf, Wet n Wild, all those cheap brushes. So I'm just going to put that on the crease. And you want to like blend it softly. And always tap the axis when you pick up shadow. Because it's better for you to add 
instead of having so much on that you're like dang I messed up it's better like to add so I'm gonna do that to the other eye honestly the key to the eye is just to blend and blend and blend very well especially if you're using um, dark shades like purple black dark brown so that's that's what I have for now then the next shade I'm gonna be using is this one right here this orangey shade and I'm just gonna be putting that at the outer the outer V and just blend it just gonna go in back with the blending brush sorry if I'm looking over here my mirror is over here all right so I'm not done with the eyes I'm just gonna come back and I'm gonna be priming my face and I'm gonna use <laughs> this um, the Maybelline pore minimizing stick which I know a few videos back Noah broke it and I tried to use it the other day and it all fell out but it has a little bit more in there so I want to use it all because I really really like this so I'm just gonna take a brush I'm just gonna take this the same brush gonna put it in here I'm gonna get as much as I can I'm sorry I just really like this primer <laughs> and I want to use it all you know especially if there's still some in there so I'm gonna put this all over my face and I do have oily skin, so I feel like this makeup tutorial will really help girls with oily skin instead of dry. Um, everybody has a different skin type. So you always want to use stuff that are going to help you. Like this pore minimizing primer is going to help me with my pores. Because I do have large pores. And I always go in with two primers because I am oily so I'm just gonna go in with the beauty sponge other primer that I'm using is actually to mattify my face and this is the Milani primer shield and this is the mattifying one and I usually just put this on my T-zone because that's where I get the oiliest the most You wash your wash your hands before because you don't want to be using um, dirty hands when you apply stuff um, so when I when you first put on your makeup you always want to do uh, your skincare routine and I always recommend you all to shave your face so that way you have a smooth finish because when I when I didn't shave my face I feel like you could see all the hairs when I put on my foundation and I definitely didn't like that it didn't look pretty so um, I decided to shave yes I do shave and it's just I've seen a big difference in my makeup so now that we're done with that I'm actually going to spot conceal which means that I'm gonna put it on the on the imperfections that I have on my face I've been getting like pimples and scars and stuff so I'm just gonna put it on the beauty blender because I don't want to 
like I want to keep my stuff sanitized so I don't want to put it on the on the breakout and stuff so I'm just gonna go in wherever I have a problem area so that would be here now that I'm done with that I'm actually going to color correct because I have been getting some dark spots on my face and this is the shade you want to use when you have dark spots there's also um, I believe there's a purple and a green shade and those work for other reasons so I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it on my dark spots which is usually around my mouth and um, where I contour so I'm just gonna put that gonna put it under my eyes a little bit because I have a few dark spots under my eyes so not too much and you always want to color correct um, before you do your foundation and everything else So now that I have that on and looking crazy, um, I'm gonna go in with my foundation and this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer. Um, and this is oil free, so I definitely, definitely like this because I don't wanna look oily. I don't want a foundation that's gonna make me oily. Like the illuminating foundation and stuff, that's gonna make you oily. Um, when I first got into makeup, I would get illuminating primers and illuminating foundation and I would just look super oily. That is not attractive. So, I'm gonna just put it all over. gonna start with this cheek so when going to choose your foundation color I definitely recommend you go to your ma or to the Sephora near you and get um, what you call and get matched because they have a machine that will match you so I feel like that's better than actually going and just guessing the shade um, because you don't want to get a wrong shade. I know that I've had trouble with that. I've gotten like a shade darker, a shade lighter, you know. So, gonna blend that. And then once you put your foundation, it just covers all of that. And I, I think I like using a beauty blender more than a brush because some brushes do leave um, streaks on your face. So, And if you do want to go in with a brush, first um, I recommend you go in with the sponge once you're done blending it with the brush. Like I said, I'm not a professional, but... I do my research and I watch a lot of makeup and you know just just learn <laughs> all right so now that my foundation is on I'm gonna go in with my concealer and when you choose your concealer you always want to get a shade or two darker than your dark lighter <laughs> than your foundation um, it depends how light you want it um, but concealers you can use for 
highlighting and stuff so you want to put it on your highlighting points on your face so what I like to do take my concealer and this is in the shade light beige I just take it and do like a triangle And then I like to put some on my chin, on my nose, and right here. And it's gonna make you look slim. So I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge. So now that my um, concealer is on, I'm going to go in with my powder and this is the air spun and I always um, like to use translucent powders because it's always difficult to find your perfect powder shade it's because it's the same as your foundation shade. Um, so I always go with translucent powders and this is one that I really recommend, it's from the drugstore. It's really, really powdery, and I feel like it lasts a long time. So, what I like to do on my oily spots is bake. I'm gonna take my sponge, press down the powder on my T-zone, especially, because I get oily there. I'm just pressing the powder. And I'm going to put it all over my nose because I get really oily. So let's go back to the eyes. I'm gonna blend some more. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna take the bone color again. Just take it with a flat brush. And put it on the lid. So I'm going to take the orange shade, orangey shade, and I'm going to put that on my lash line. It's like you cannot make this face whenever you're doing something on your bottom lash line. Like it's like you have to. Some people don't put anything on their bottom lash line. Honestly, it's up to you. But usually when I do my eye and eyeshadow look, I always put shadow under on my lash line. All right. So I honestly prefer mascara over um, fake eyelashes. I feel like it's because I already have like a little lift on my eyelashes so um, the mascara just gives it like even more lift so I'm gonna put some chapstick real quick and this is the big red velvet cake found this at 
got this at Tops the other day. It's so back to the um, ice. I'm gonna actually go in with mascara. And I'm using the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. And this is my favorite. And I got this in the Ipsy bag. So when I usually um, buy makeup, I usually go to the drugstore. But something like this, I'll definitely try to get it again because I really love it. So yeah. And this mascara. But there's some really, really good mascaras at the drugstore. done with the eyes and I'm gonna go in with contour and when you go in with contour you always want to find like a shade or two darker than your skin tone I know it's kind of tricky to find um, the right bronzers because there's there's always like different bronzers with different undertones like an orangey undertone or a gray undertone so I know it's hard sometimes but Definitely ask somebody from your mall or somebody from a Sephora. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora Spice Market Blush Palette and I'm taking this really dark shade that's right here and I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna take a fan brush and contour a little bit. So, Stay in that shade. Don't forget to dust off. And whenever you so contour, when you, contour you, want you want to start from up here, all the way down here. But I usually stop like around here. Some people bring it in. It just depends on how you like it. So I'm just gonna go in. You always want to make your face. That way you'll know where your cheekbone exactly is. So. And you want to blend up, not down. So now that that's on, I'm going to go in and bronze. And I'm taking my butter bronzer. And this is a great, great bronzer. Um, so I'm going to take this brush. And just put it where you contoured. And wherever else you want to look slim. So, it's going to... And this is gonna help blend the contour too, so it won't look too harsh. So usually I contour right, right here, up here on my temples, forehead. I wanna look like I have a small forehead. and highlight and stuff make a huge difference I feel like if you don't at least put blush then your face looks so like bland and dead and, you know all right so now that I'm done with the bronzer I'm gonna go in with highlight I used to put blush first but I feel like if I go in with highlight and then blush it just looks so like well blended so I'm gonna take my elf shimmer highlighting powder in the shade starlight glow 
And I'm just gonna take this kind of brush. I, and like I said, I used to use the fan brush to highlight, but then I find out that like this kind of brush is better to highlight. So I wanna pop in highlight. I'm gonna use my rose water and spray my brush. And this is gonna make the products more intensify. So go in, swirl. And you wanna put highlight on the highest points of your face. And I put it here on my nose. And I like to put it right here. What's this thing called? Like a cupid bow or something? I don't know. In the summer, you really want to look glowy and bronze. taking the alternative rock by the bomb and this is in the shade bare minimum and I got this in my ipsy bag as you already know and I've been loving it so I'm gonna go in with my blush brush and I got this in the ipsy bag as well I feel like if you want higher end products, the Ipsy bag would be good, really good for you. Um, they might be like a sample, but they last. This one's been lasting me a good bit. So whenever you go in with your blush, you wanna go in in the apples of your cheek, and I always smile, that way I know where, and also blend it out where your contour and highlight is, if you can. So just, just look. So the very, not the very last step, so, because we still need the lips, so I'm just going to go in with my rose water again, and this will set your makeup and um, help your makeup stay all day. Um, so the last step is going to be the lips and I'm going to be using this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color And I've been loving this. This is my second one I've gotten um, And this is in the shade HD Kisses HD Kisses So This is very easy Like it's like coloring just stay in the lines So just going to put it on In the summer, I do like to put some shine. But yeah, in the summer, I like wearing gloss, but sometimes because gloss, like it's so like sticky, and like when you're in the car and your hair's done, it sticks to your lips, so. I'm just going to be using the Ciate Lip Luster and this is in the shade Kiss Me and I got this in the Ipsy bag. Alrighty guys, 
So this is the final look. Let me zoom you in a little bit. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video and y'all learned a little bit. I tried, I tried to teach y'all the best I could. Um, I'm still learning myself, so. But I hope this helps y'all if you want to start off using makeup or if you're um, not sure what to do or what the right steps are. I hope this really helps. So, um, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and comment. Don't be shy. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.